Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure JVX 7.2 on RHL 9. Now open any web browser, go to JVX official website that is jvix.com. See here, JVX 7.2 is out now. Okay, so click on get JVX. Then click on JVX packages. See here, we have the latest version of JVX is 7.2 and supported OS distributions are RHL. Then select the RHL line, then select the JBX component, server, front end, and agent. We are going to install these three components. Database, I am going to use MySQL. If you want to install MySQL on RHL line, there is a link in the video description how to install and configure MySQL 8.0.40 on RHL 9 operating systems. Okay, then select the Apache web server because I am going to use the Apache web server, Apache as the web server. And once we selected, these are the list of the commands that needs to be installed on RHL9. Before installing this step, go to the terminal, install these packages. I will keep all these commands in the video description. See, it is going to install HTTPD, that is Apache Web Server, PHP and its extensions. Hit enter. Type and hit enter. Now start the HTTPD service. sudo sudo systemctl start HTTPD. Now verify the status. See it is started. Control A. Now enable it. No need to enable because see here we are we are having that command at the bottom. Okay. So disable JBX packages provided by EPL. We have it installed okay i don't have any epls okay install jbx repository by copying this command copy it go to the terminal paste it sudo hit enter it is done now dnf clean sudo dnf clean all this type of Space. Okay, now <coughs> install JBX server front end and agent. So copy this command. sudo control L, paste that one. Hit enter. Type and hit enter. Type and hit enter. We have successfully installed control A. Now we have to create initial database by connecting to MySQL. As I told you, if you want to install MySQL 8.0.40 on your machine, then there is a link in the video description or you can search for my YouTube channel how to install and configure MySQL 8.0.40 on RHL9. Okay, MySQL hyphen u root hyphen b. Then provide the password of Control it, show databases. See here, see here, I have these databases. See, this line is going to create database, and this this is going to create user, this is going to grant privileges on this database, and this is the password. You can give your own password, okay? Then you have to set the this global value to one, okay? So, first create database, copy it, not copy it properly, copy paste it hit enter now create user now create 
user. Copy it, paste here, hit enter. See, password not satisfied the current policy requirements. So, copy up to here only. Give the strong password. Then grant the privileges. And you have to remember this password. In this video, you have to use this password multiple times. Okay. Then set the global variable. Now quit. Now we have to import initial schema. Now we have to import initial schema data. So hit enter. Then here we have to provide the here we have to provide the password. What here we have given. Okay. This may take two or three minutes. It is done. Control A. Now connect to MySQL and disable this one. MySQL hyphen U root hyphen P. Then copy this command. That is setting global variable value. Now we have to configure database for a JVIC server. Then go to this file. sudo va paste that file name. Go to the bottom. DB name. JPEG user. See here we have the DB password. Remove this hash. Shift A, then give the password of this JVX user. Then save the file. Hit enter. Now we have to start JPEG server and its agent processes. We have already started HTTPD. Anyway, restart it again. Copy it. Paste it. At the start, give the sudo and hit enter. It is done. Now enable the these services. Copy it, paste it, and at the start give the sudo and hit enter. Now we have to give the enable. Not copy it properly. Hit enter. See it is done. Now verify the status of the JPEG server. Sudo systemctl status JPEG hyphen server see jbix server is running okay everything is done now, now we have to configure jbix front end copy this one Please just give http colon forward slash forward slash then host name host name is local host okay local host or you can give ip then forward slash jbix or you can give ip or loopback ip anything is fine hit enter now select the default language and click on next. See all checks are passed. See all our agreements it is passed. No errors are there. Then click on next step. Then we have selected MySQL as database. Then MySQL is installed on this PC. So localhost port number for MySQL is 3306. Then database name is JBX username also JBX. Then provide the password of JBX user that we have created in MySQL. Then click on next step. Not now. Then JBIC server is installed on this PC. Then give the local host. Then select the time zone. Default theme. I am okay. I'm going with the defaults. Then click on next step. See this is the pre-installation summary. If you are okay with all the settings then click on next step. See congratulations you have successfully installed JBIC frontend. And this is the configuration file. Then click on finish. Now we have to log in to JBIC by using caps A D M I N and username is and the password is jvix i will keep this username and password in the video description then click on sign in see we have successfully logged into the jvix and see here jvix version is 7.2.1 and jvix front end version also same see number of items number of triggers everything is showing here this is a system information and Dashboards, monitoring, services, inventory, reports, etc. Alerts, okay. 
So click on users. Again click on users. See if you want to change the password of this current user, click on admin, then click on change password. Then you have to click on update. Or if you want to create a user, click on again users, then click on new user, then you have to provide all the details. Then you have to click on add. Okay. This is the way. So in this video we have seen how to install and configure the big server 7.2 on RHL9. For more tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.